hey guys uh, so welcome to another screencast um, so basically what we did earlier or previously was um, we created our first application using the console and you saw how that one went and hopefully um, you know kind of you're kind of excited as to how OpenShift Origin does create some of these things. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to create applications using um, Quick Starts. So OpenShift has uh, this site it has with Quick Starts and Quick Starts are just a quick way of uh, kind of scaffolding your applications using your popular frameworks or your kind of your environment, um, sort of like uh, a Quick Start guide, if you will. So um, looking at our application, you can see we're using one out of our five gears so i'm going to switch to another browser and go to the openshift.com slash quick start our page so this will go ahead and load the quick starts on the openshift website so um you can see here that uh, this page has a lot of uh, quick starts so feel free to uh, kind of look at the ones you can play with and depending on your environment some people have already created um some quick starts for you so anyway um so the one i want to kind of show you um is uh let's say the anyway let's just pick something exciting right so who doesn't like wordpress i think you should rethink your cms strategies anyway if you don't <laughs> anyway so um this i'm going to show you an example of how to use the rc cli tool and instructions you can have in some of your wordpress sites uh here you can see that uh you know it tells you the kind of cartridges it uses so here you can see it uses the php cartridge and the mysql cartridge and it has its source code uh, stored or hosted on github so um let's visit the page the source code page on github All right and by the way um some of you uh if you don't know yet um always make sure you upload your public ssh key into your github repository um so if you don't uh, it might give you some messages on errors um so anyway um so this is uh an example wordpress example here uh and the example is different from your typical wordpress installation because um database credentials has been created for you anyway so um here you can see uh, using the rc app create command you can see how to create this application from the code um mysql and um you know from the url so um i'm going to copy or basically instead of copying that just to see how um how we do this uh, this is a screen from the previous video so we're going to create our own application for WordPress. So, um, and one thing you can also do, uh, the RC command is very, uh, very neat, uh, kind of has a good support system. So when you press RC, you can see, uh, you can use the RC help, then you can pick a command here and you can see a mini documentation on the command. So here we're using the create app command. So let's clear the screen and use RC app create, then the name of the application. So here we're going to call it uh, WordPress and the next thing that follows usually will be the list of cartridges you want to use so in this case we're going to use the php 5.4 let's just pick 5.4 uh, my sql uh, 5.5 cartridge and we want to create it from the code uh, you know on the github page so uh, let's copy this all right so go ahead and paste that and one thing you can also do is you can also um, specify the gear sizes so let's say you want to use the medium gear sizes so you can specify it using the dash g option or you can just uh, leave it which will default to the small um, gear so in this case uh, just for example sake we're going to still maintain our small gear and uh, we're going to create the application under the user um, you know for the user open shift all right so press enter and to go ahead and kind of give you an overview of the options it's going to use to create your application uh, the first one is the domain It's going to create it under the past domain uh, it's going to use the cartridges php 5.4 and mysql 5.5 and it's going to use the default gear sizes uh, we have not uh, provided any scaling uh, so let's say we want to scale this application 
uh, right from the command we use to create the application we can specify uh, a dash s option which will tell the application to scale anyway so um we're going to allow this run through uh this might take a while too depending on the time it takes to provision the the app um because of the fact that i am actually running my infrastructure on a vm so um i'll pause the video and come back when the the application has been created so that we can see how everything ties up together all right so um our application has been created you can see our application wordpress is now available um so pretty much uh you know after creating the application you can see it created the mysql uh, database credentials so this is for you to keep if you want to use this in you know like maybe other you know just anything you want to build actually so um this um wordpress example hosted on openshift origin github page uh, has been modified to automatically pick the values of the username password database name and so on from the uh, environment variables that openshift creates for you so we're going to look at the environment variables in another screencast uh, but for now you can see it's actually using the rc tool it went ahead and actually cloned the application uh, to our local um, directory uh, here it's giving us the ssh uh, url for the gear uh, of course giving us the git url to clone or kind of uh, use it for other things and you can see it cloned it into our openshift demo directory and called it wordpress all right so um let's visit this application on on a browser so let's do that and voila so you can see our brand new installation of wordpress uh it's kicking in uh you can see you know the familiar wordpress page so we're going to call this openshift uh, wordpress and we're going to have a username so maybe call it admin and have a weak password uh don't judge me all right so um yeah so we're going to go ahead and complete the installation anyway so you can see how interesting um openshift origin is you can see um sort of like as a developer why it makes sense to have uh all right so uh kind of waiting for the page to load here all right password and everything went in successfully we should go to our dashboard uh, for those of you that are familiar with wordpress for those of you that are not please move up the chain <laughs> if you will all right so here you can see um we can add a new post as usual uh, anyway this is the dashboard for wordpress so uh go ahead and do every, everything you have to do here if you like you can buy a domain name and point it to your application page so they said um hello world uh and of course you can go ahead and kind of just type some lips um text or just some random stuff as a post and publish and yeah so and hopefully you can view the post here uh, you can see a WordPress application in action and you can see everything has been taken care of for you I mean you can see the URL the right thing so you just kind of face the application and um, you know kind of takes away all the pain of understanding the nitty-gritty behind the scenes all right so um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and um, come again and kind of uh, with another screencast in the next one so um, feel free to drop any comments or suggestions in the comment box below and um we will discuss that in the forums um in the comments below so thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one